Hello friends and family of YouTube. Man, I hope y'all are doing good today. I've got something I think is pretty neat here. I've got a small RV. You know I like doing small ones. This one will sleep four, maybe more. Depends on how small some of those people are. But uh, it's got some unique stuff to it that I want to show you. And uh, I tell you what I'm going to do. On this video, I'm going to show you what I like and what I do not like about it. And that's something that I'm going to try to start doing more of in my videos. So uh, anyway, without further ado, let's get outside and let me show you the model number of this particular unit. All right, well, I'm going to start on the passenger side here. We've got a slide out on, on this uh, particular uh, Winnebago. And man, I'll tell you what, isn't that cool? It is a single axle with a slide out. And uh, I do like the fact that they've got the, uh, the plumbing on this side and you can see that it does have a uh, 30 amp service coming out here. And you've got, uh, of course, you're, you can also hook satellite here. That's what, uh, that's what this is for. So you can hook satellite or an outside antenna if you want to. It does have four corner jacks on here and it's got 14 inch size tires with uh, some alloy style uh, wheels on here as well. It's got an outside shower. That's what's going on here. I tell you what, I was going to save this back for uh, kind of a, a little bonus, but I'll go ahead and get back here with it now. So look here, you've got a uh, two burner cooktop outside and you've got a uh, sink. You've also got a small refrigerator. And this area here, this is where you could put you some pots and pans or maybe a uh, box of cereal or whatever so you've got a little bit of room for storage and right below there you've got some storage room too so if you're like me you're probably thinking this is the only kitchen well no i've got a surprise for you coming up too now keep in mind this is a very small rv but you've also got plug in right here for a tv so if you wanted to set a TV outside on a stand, you could plug it in right there and have your TV outside here. And I guess you, you might could even mount it to this back panel here that raises up. I don't know. That'd be something worth checking into. All right. And you can see that it also has a, uh, got a nice awning that's lit up on here. And again, this is a mini drop. It is by Winnebago and it does have a, a uh, single step entry it does uh this model does sit low to the ground so one step is enough and this is a md 170k and it is solar ready and uh this is over at madison rv super center this is in huntsville alabama it's huntsville madison area so anyway let's go up this one step entry and let me show you the inside Well, I came in here and first thing I did is I sat at the dinette and I was like, oh, that feels nice. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a little shot just from the dinette here and show you what's going on. And then I'll go over it step by step as well. So uh, give you a little pan through. And remember now, this is a single axle RV. It's got a little bit of everything going on here. So uh, anyway, I'll start up here. You've got your control panel up here above. You've also got a DVD CD player that's mounted up there and it's also uh, hooked into the TV. And below the TV, you've got some storage area. You could definitely put you some shoes or boots or whatever inside, inside this area here. And I tell you what, let me go ahead and get up and show you this dinette. I am amazed at how comfortable that dinette is. That is all right. I could sit there for quite a while. I am real good at sitting. <laughs> all right, so you do have windows on each side. They do have the uh, blinds pulled down on the other side to show you what uh, what the blinds look like. And they've got a little bit of storage right over over this uh, dinette. So, and that goes back probably right at 12 inches, uh, somewhere in that area. And this table here will break down and make that dinette into a bed area. All right, so let me get you over here and show you the microwave setup. This is one of those convection type uh, microwaves where you can use it kind of like an oven. Refrigerator, it's a little difficult to do with holding the uh, camera at the same time. But anyway, this is the same, uh, same uh, refrigerator unit that I have in my RV. And this is by Dometic. You've got a, a little freezer section here as well. 
I like that it's raised up off the ground. In my RV, it is on the floor, and it's a little bit, a uh, little bit difficult sometimes for me to get stuff out of my refrigerator because it is low. So I like that this one's raised up off of the floor. And you've got some drawers in here. Do you a little bit of storage in there? That is nice to have. And you've got storage below the sink. And let me show you the sink. So, and yeah. And they also put you an outlet right here, which that was, that was a good place to put one. If you wanted to put you a blender or a coffee maker or whatever, you've got about eight inches back here that you can put uh, any kind of um, kitchen utensil or whatever you wanted to stick back there. And you've got you some storage area above here, above the sink. But yeah, you could definitely put you uh, some hooks along here and hang your spatulas and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, very functional little kitchen layout here. All right, now the, uh, the back area here, you've got bunks. So these bunks go back, I would guess that's probably about 30 inches, maybe 36. And you've got an upper and a lower. So uh, there's also a light up here. I turned it off a while ago because it was glaring as I was trying to uh, shoot a little video. So anyway, let me show you that. And you've got some storage here right beside the bed. Now, that's a good place that uh, you can put some clothing. And there's three of them. There's uh, one all the way down to the floor there. So there's three good storage compartments and those are uh, probably about 12 inches deep. All right, so now let me show you the bathroom. And you've got a uh, foot flush toilet in here. And this is what is referred to as a wet bath. Uh, the wet bath means that you've got a toilet inside the shower unit. And the good thing of that is, is if you're not one to want to clean the toilet, you can always take a shower and let nature take care of its own self as the water falls and cleans the toilet for you. I'm thinking like a man, folks. <laughs> All right, and you've got an area back here where you can put your shampoos and that sort of thing. And uh, this does still have a shower curtain and uh, it's got a track here. This track runs all the way around. And so a curtain would come here and that curtain would prevent water from getting to this door. But it also would prevent water from getting into the floor area as well. And uh, I don't believe that I talked about this a moment ago, but it does have the uh, Domatic uh, HVAC temperature controls right here on the wall. And it's got a different uh, HVA system than what I've been seeing. It does have a, a, a domatic system and I have not been seeing this one. But what I like about this is you can pull this filter out real easily and uh, wash it off and be able to stick it back in. And uh, I can't say that about my, my RV unit that I have. Well, before I tell you the good and bad of this particular RV from my my point of view, I'd like to show you the specifications of it. Okay, I told you that I would let you know what I like about this model and what I do not like about this model. What I do like about it, I like that they did put you enough room back here on the back of this uh, kitchen area where you could add some some additional appliances and you could hang some stuff up there like your uh, your standard utensils i also do like the fact that they gave you some drawers here and not only do they have a cooktop in here and a sink in here but they also put it outside and they didn't expect you to just survive off of this small refrigerator there's a refrigerator outside as well so uh, i really like what they've done with this kitchen here and I really do like this dinette. This dinette is very comfortable. If you've been on the fence about which uh, RV to check into as far as comfortability, anytime you go look at an RV, always check the cushions. You know, the layouts are one thing and they're, they're very comfortable and well flowing a lot of these layouts, but I don't always see good cushions being put to use. Now, I told you I would mention what I do not like. I'm okay with a wet bath. Now, a lot of people don't like a wet bath for whatever personal reasons, preferences, or whatever. The only problem that I would have is this particular sink in the shower. 
I feel like that would give me a little bit of trouble as I'm trying to twirl around in there and take my shower because I probably would be uh, on the road for a lengthy amount of time and that might bother me. But it looks like that can easily be removed because it does have the screws on there. So if you wanted to remove that, I'm sure that wouldn't be a problem. But uh, that, and of course I would want to get a Max Air fan. You can always upgrade anytime you go to a dealership and you buy something like I'm here at Madison RV Supercenter. I know that if I went to them and I said, hey, can I upgrade that fan? They would say, absolutely. So that's what I like and dislike about this model. Well, folks, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me today and hopefully you enjoyed this model as much as I did. I like anything just about that Winnebago puts out. They always uh, have some real nice stuff. So Anyway, thanks again for watching, folks. If y'all hadn't hit the like and subscribe yet, I sure would appreciate it. Hope y'all have a great day. Hope to see y'all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.